Today we're going to talk about hill repeats, and hill repeats are four five-minute efforts that we're going to do on a hill, just like it sounds, straight up the hill, turn around and come right back for our recovery, and we'll do that four times for five minutes, with three to four minutes recovery between the efforts. The intensity for hill repeats is kind of at the high threshold, low max VO2 zone, so sort of a a 4.5 on our stages scale. And we're going to uh, try to maintain the same power from the beginning to the end of each effort and then from effort to effort. So we want to see consistent power application between all four efforts. And the cadence for this is about 80 to 90 RPM. It might be a little bit lower than that for the steeper portions of the climb. Uh, want to have a nice relaxed position on the bike, a climbing position on the bike where your hands are on the tops and you've got, you know, your chest is open and you're able to breathe deeply. And we're going to see probably from effort to effort and within each effort, your heart rate will probably elevate between uh, those times. So when you begin the effort, it'll take a while for your heart rate to catch up and it'll probably continue to elevate because you're working at a level that's not necessarily sustainable. It's not a level that you're going to be able to do for an hour, for example. And that's why we've broken it down into five minute segments. The benefit of hill repeats is you're going to be able to increase your uh, your lactate threshold or your functional threshold power, and you're gonna to touch on your max VO2 range of power as well. So it's going to teach you to be able to create power with a little bit of torque because you have the resistance of gravity basically for the hill climb. So the pedal cadence is a little bit lower, we're using a little bit more force to create our power uh, or a little bit more torque, which is unique to climbing. If you don't have a hill that is long enough or if you live in terrain that doesn't have long steady climbs, then you could do this into a headwind um, and just do your five minute segment into a headwind and then turn around and come back and then repeat it. Or if you don't have wind, for example, on that given day, you can just use a bigger gear. So you ride at the, the prescribed cadence and create the same amount of force that you would had you been climbing. If you want to do this indoors, some people find it useful to elevate the front wheel with maybe a phone book or a shoe box or something like that to get the front wheel off the ground so that you can simulate the climbing position with the front wheel above the rear wheel.